Hey guys, it's James. Hello Einsteins! This is a tutorial about limits and how to find them using tables and graphs. So basically, the objective of this tutorial is to illustrate the limit of a function using a table of values in the graph of the function. So what is limit? Limit is a boundary that may be reached or not, or possibly exceeded. So, to start off, I will show you the notation involved with this concept. Here, we have the letters L, I, M, referring to limit. Now, the idea with limits is we want to take a look at a function f of x and take a look at its various outputs as it approaches a specific value along the x-axis, which is c. And as we get closer and closer to this specific c value, we'll notice that the output of our function will get closer and closer to a number L, which would also be our limit. So we read this notation as the limit of f of x as x approaches c is equal to L. Creating a table is a way to determine limits using numeric information. We create a table of values in which the input values of x approach c from both sides. Then, we determine if the output values get closer and closer to some real value, the limit L. How to, given a function f, use a table to find the limit as x approaches c and the value of f of c if it exists. Number 1. Choose several input values that approach C from both the left and right. Record them in a table. Number 2. Evaluate the function at each input value. Record them in a table. Number 3. Determine if the table values indicate a left-hand limit and a right-hand limit. Number 4. If the left-hand and right-hand limits exist, and are equal, there is a two-sided limit. Number 5. Replace x with c to find the value of f of c. Take note that the limit of f of x as x approaches c and the limit of f of x as x approaches a are just the same because different people use different letters to represent the approaching value. Let's consider an example using the following function. To create the table, we evaluate the function at values close to x equals 5. We use some input values less than 5 and some values greater than 5. The table values show that when x is greater than 5 but nearing 5, the corresponding output gets close to 75. When x is less than 5 but nearing 5, the corresponding output also gets close to 75. Because limit f of x as x approaches 5 from the left and limit f of x as x approaches 5 from the right are both equal to 75, then limit f of x as x approaches 5 is equal to 75. Remember that f of 5 does not exist. Assuming no points of discontinuity, the limit of a function as x approaches some number c can be found by finding the value of the function at x equals c. In other words, for continuous intervals, limit f of x as x approaches c is equal to f of c. Look at the graph of f of x is equal to x squared. As x approaches 2, the function value approaches 4. Also, f of 2 is equal to 4. So, Limit f of x as x approaches 2 and f of 2 are both equal to 4. Limits of a function from a graph can get tricky if there are points of discontinuity. Look at the next graph. The limit of the function is the same as the function value everywhere except at x equals negative 1 and x equals 1. At x equals negative 1, there is a jump discontinuity. The function value is 4, but the limit does not exist. The limit of f as x approaches negative 1 from the left is 2, and the limit as x approaches negative 1 from the right is 4. So the general limit does not exist. At x equals 1, 
the function has a value of 4. However, the limit of the function is 2 since the function values approach 2 through values greater than 2 as x approaches 1 from the left and the function values approach 2 through values less than 2 as x approaches 1 from the right. So in this case, limit f of x as x approaches 1 is equal to 2 but f of 1 is equal to 4. So now let's take a quiz. And if you want to answer honestly, it is necessary to pause. So for item number 1, limit 3x all over x minus 2 as x approaches negative 1. Use a table of values to find the limit of the function. Here is the correct answer for item number 1. For item number 2, Limit x plus 3 as x approaches 1. Use table of values to know the limit of the function. Here is the correct answer for item number 2. So for these items, you will find the limit using a graph. Take note, I will only repeat the question twice. There will be 4 items but this will be only equivalent to 3 points. For the first item, Find the limit of f of x as x approaches 3 from the left. Again, find the limit of f of x as x approaches 3 from the left. Next, find the limit of f of x as x approaches 3 from the right. Again, find the limit of f of x as x approaches 3 from the right. So next item, the limit f of x as x approaches negative 1 from the left. Again, limit f of x as x approaches negative 1 from the left. So for the last item, the limit f of x as x approaches negative 1 from the right. Again, find the limit of f of x as x approaches negative 1 from the right. Thank you, Einstein. That's all for today and I hope to see you on my next tutorial.